the video presented by hcf creative king advertising and marketing solution abcd anybody can dance friend events and rentals welcome to gapshap show with me mohammad nizamuddin nishad today our guest mrs india universe intelligent Mrs. Purti Dhingra. Welcome Mrs. Purti Dhingra in our studio. Thank you Mr. Nizamuddin. Thank you for having me here. It's a pleasure. Can you share, share about how you started your career from India to UAE? As you said, you are for like, to share about you are NRI also. So can you share about how you started your uh, life from India and UAE? Yeah. Uh, as far as my journey is concerned from India to UAE, Uh, from very childhood i was very passionate about singing dancing basically performing arts so i was very active into all the extra curricular activities so as like every indian woman has dream when she grows up that she wants to do something and achieve in life so i also got married and then uh, before marriage as well even after marriage i was working so i started my journey as an hr professional because i have done my business administration in human resource so that's how i started my journey and after a few years of my marriage i uh, you know we just planned and we something clicked to my husband and we moved to dubai so it's past 6 years now that we are based here and i'm blessed with a 12 year old son so it's going great till now so how you are balancing between personal and professional life as you said that you have 12 year uh, son and husband uh, he's uh, working as well as uh, like you know it's a very difficult challenge for as a married woman it's a very big challenge to handle family kids husband and in laws i guess you're absolutely right definitely it's very difficult for a woman to you know uh, play all these roles in one go i personally feel that uh, you know woman is a vivacious circle of multitasking so that is what i have always believed in and my parents have nurtured me that way i have seen them in my life you know handling so many things all together so i guess it's just the upbringing and it's just my uh, siblings my cousins everybody around me has been so positive and energetic that i have tried imbibing all that within me so i just try you know uh, like whatever i believe in doing with full commitment and conviction i just go ahead for that so i feel uh, yes definitely like any other woman after marriage it was a bit of a challenge because after a year of my marriage i had my son so initial those days were struggling and then into baby sitting and taking care of the baby and to be true feeling like couple of years or something you feel like you're totally stuck you have nothing left in your life and all women go through this stage i feel but then i think this is the only period when you realize that no nothing has stopped it you if you have that you know zeal to go ahead in life you can definitely do it so i would like to give a message to all the women out there that please do not feel that anything stops after marriage i feel everything is here if you believe in yourself you can definitely achieve it so i think that's how i'm trying to maintain that balance i have given my time to my son as well i have played my part as a wife i have played my part as a daughter in law i feel till now i have given my best as you said you are from hr profession also so how you came into modeling and fashion industry because hr is uh, sometimes because i i used being i'm a trainer and counselor so sometimes we know that hr activity we do event fun and these kind of activity but how you become you know uh, more uh, energetic or how you thought that i want to go into modeling industry or fashion industry uh, like i said in the beginning that i'm very passionate about you know uh, doing something in life and especially performing arts need be it be singing dancing debating even sports during my school days so i think that is that has built up initially only from my within myself that i was wanting to explore everything so it's nothing one thing you know i would like to uh, uh, you know ex- experience or uh, try to achieve something in life i feel like you know trying different few things which i feel interested in so i think uh, that's how i felt that i have done a bit into singing uh, i remember last year i received a women's achiever award for best singer here in dubai and then after that i have also participated into some dance events where i have received a 
first prize into some global Gujarati competitions and all. So I think from very much I was into singing, dancing. So I felt like now, now what's new? So I had my few friends into the same field here. So I just thought and they were already, you know, talking to me about it and they have seen my pics and they were recommending me, why don't you try it out? And so I just started with some photo shoots, some portfolio shoots and all. And uh, suddenly then this beauty pageant clicked and I saw uh, the ad for it and a very dear and close friend of mine, uh, Meena Asrani, she told me about it. And uh, that's how I went into this Mrs. India Universe pageant and I feel proud to say that I won this title for Mrs. India Universe Intelligent. So that's how my journey started. Congratulations. First of all, I must say congratulations. You uh, you got this award because, you know, as, a, as you say that women's how struggle and as, you know, they are facing a challenging things. And this is a really good thing is that once you have a good friend in your circle and their positive attitude because in last episode I met a... Uh, uh, Mrs. Uh, Meena Surani also, she's a very positive and charming lady. So definitely because once we are in surrounding and there we are discussing about positive attitude, positive vibes always support us. So what is your goal of life exactly? What is what you want to achieve in four or five years? Uh, see, I feel uh, definitely a person should have some goal in life. But as far as I'm concerned, I don't stick to some specific strategies that I have to do this, this or this. I feel and I believe in living and let live. So the way it comes, the way it goes. This is what I believe in. So uh, till now I've explored so many things and I wish that in future ahead I get some good assignments, I get involved into some good projects where I can explore my talent, where I can prove my abilities. So I think uh, my actual goal is to give my best in whatever thing I love to do. So that is something I would like to uh, say. And I would also like to add on that till date, whatever I've been and I've done, and it's a general saying that, uh, you know, if for uh, I mean, behind every successful man, there is a woman. But in my case, it is vice versa. Behind me is my husband, who is really supportive. And I shouldn't say that only husband. Of course, all my family members are very supportive because I feel uh, that's the backbone of any woman. Because if you have, uh, you know, a uh, cent percent of, support and energetic environment and positive environment around you you really feel like you know you are you are encouraged you are pushed to do something great and achieve something good in life so i feel i'm blessed that way so it uh, it's a very good inspiration uh, for ladies so i must say being i'm a husband uh, so i must say that what kind of a husband should take care with wife because as you said you are uh, your husband or you are telling that you are very lucky that you got a husband. So, because you know, it's a male dominated society. So as a husband, what is the things need to take care and what is expectation every female that husband should take care if they want to support to wife or kids, as you said that babysitting and all. So this scenario is coming So sometimes. I have seen many women uh, emotionally bro broken because they thought wife is not like husband is not supporting, in-laws is not supporting for that. What is your suggestion how they can convince the husband or in-laws? Uh, I can totally relate to what you are saying because I won't say, you know, that everybody is like so smooth and it goes like this. Everybody's life has some ups and downs in life. So I think that was with me as well. Uh, as I shared before, I had a time frame where I thought I'm struggling and I'm just stick to my home like a homemaker and I have nothing to do in life. But then uh, I think this is the major thing that first you need to believe yourself. If you believe yourself, then I think there's nothing in this world which can stop you. So uh, once that started and happened, the next challenge was the family. That starts from your husband, basically. So I won't say that he was very, very uh, good and 100% from day one. Because of course, in every marriage, one needs time to understand each other. And one, even if you know each other before, I feel the life after marriage is totally different. It has nothing to do with if you have met before or no so i feel slowly and gradually you feel like you know you talk to your partner and then you tell and you share things that what are things which is important in your life so i think that has to be there and the suggestion which i would like to give men is i think every man uh, whether financially or physically 
or uh, through materialistic resources tries and satisfies the partner and feels that they have done everything but i feel as a woman every woman needs more than anything else an emotional support i think if she can feel that her husband can relate to what she thinks a husband understands what she is wanting to do in her life uh, in this male dominating society as you said everybody knows that what men wants that is always given consideration and that is always given importance but it, when it comes to women it is generally said oh you're a homemaker oh you have so many responsibilities oh you're not supposed to go out but this is something if the partner is understanding if the partner thinks that yes she is equally a human being she has equally a heart a soul a mind like me so why these societal norms should stop her from doing anything else if she is a queen for her father when she is not married she can be a bigger queen uh, a princess in her husband's arms so i feel if they give an emotional support if they emotionally connect with the women with their wives and try and understand what they really want in their life i think uh, she will be the best queen of her husband and that husband will be the best husband in the world it was a great uh, information that what you have shared it what are the viewers they will watch this uh, program especially for man who is not taking care wife proper away it's a really very good understanding it's a very good knowledgeable and uh, if some issue because being an a counselor every day uh, once i am meeting for counseling uh, maximum four minutes they share emotional issues and the emotional issues that 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 is the main thing is that not a good communication Correct, if they they are not doing good communication then issues is coming so for any relationship we must have a good communication so what is your suggestion for women to balance between personal and professional life like you said i totally agree to this that communication plays a major role whether between wife and husband because i feel expression is something that is very important in anybody's life if you are not expressive if you don't communicate what you are feeling inside what you want in your life with your life partner i think nothing will work so this is i think the most important factor which plays a role so because you know generally it's a tendency of women or men sometimes due to lack of communication they feel oh come on i am going through this trauma or i am feeling all these feelings and emotions inside why should i tell him he is my hu- husband he should understand himself or husband thinks you know uh, this is something she should know she has been there with me for so many years so she should know what i want or not but i think both of them should understand we are not uh, some you know some rocket science or something that we will come to know what is going inside so i think communication is really important one should really uh, make a relationship i think more than a husband wife we should be like friends we should share what we are you know feeling and i think that's how if we communicate we will they both will understand that what are their goals or what their priorities in life so that's how i guess life becomes easier and when that is easier i think maintaining that work life balance or work and your personal um, you know activities or personal career point of things which you want to pursue in life that really becomes easy because once you know somebody at the back end is supportive and somebody you know who is really behind me and in any of my pros and cons he will be there so then the woman can do wonders so i feel that that uh, encouragement from the husband and the family it's the ultimate thing you know which pushes the woman and gives the confidence to just move ahead in life as you said you are from hr profession also because i have seen many in our eyes and especially indian people they want to go in uae they want to search a job and lot of issues is coming so can you suggest that how they can handle how they can get a job as well as how they can handle pressure and how they can handle uh, like uh, corporate politics i think uh, you know pressure is everywhere in today's world if you talk about jobs if you talk about home if you talk about your personal life there are different sort of pressures which everybody is going through so i feel uh, when you are at home you kind of tackle those pressures you know what are your priorities you know what should i do that you know i should get out of this so similarly i think it is in the job as well as we handle pressure in day to day life in the job as well there are you know there's no job uh there where there is no pressure but it's just that how you take it 
how you uh, you know you take it as a uh, as a trouble for you or you take it in a positive way that uh, you know fine let it be as a challenge for me let me think what best i can do so what i follow is i just think one thing i have to give my best and i don't think about results so i feel that's how when you're not focused what is going to be the result you give your best so i think that's the best thing one can do to cope up with the pressure thing and as far as job opportunities are concerned i guess dubai has a vast huge market for jobs there are n number of profiles there are n number of uh, you know opportunities here there are different kind of jobs websites which are there where uh, people all over the world can apply on and uh, there are even recruitment companies here who you know do consulting and they uh, place the jobs and all so one has to you know uh, make that zeal and make that determination within themselves that yes i want to go ahead in this stream or i want to go ahead in this uh, sector so and then start researching and taking out links and uh, you know getting contacts sometimes we have people around us and we are not even you know aware about it so start talking and if you know somebody that's how you can connect and then we have so many social media now facebook twitter linkedin from where we get profiles so i think that is something one has to gear up because i think it's a digital era now so just sitting back home and thinking and just applying and forwarding cvs won't work so i think uh, yeah that's how they can so we should meet personally also yeah yeah definitely why not yes. at least uh, once you meet communication happens if communication happens you learn something uh, there's there's always something we don't you don't lose it's every time you learn something from somewhere and then go ahead i i always suggest people that they should not meet only for social media or, or like virtual until virtual introduction is okay but they should meet to face to face because once they are meeting face to face they observe people behavior what are the people they have respect so it's as you said you are right that only applying through social media it's not a, a good things it's better way they can apply uh, apply as well as they can meet as much as possible so slice so what is your future plan exactly what is your goal of uh, uh, so you have any things in your goal so please suggest it uh, see as far as my future goals are concerned uh, i feel Uh, there is lot more to achieve because for exploring so much in life i think this one life is very short so uh, not thinking too much uh, but then yes since i have uh, started into uh, this modeling and i have achieved this crown so i would definitely like to uh, you know uh, go ahead with some responsibilities for this crown and would like to contribute myself for women women empowerment and whatever best i can do in this cause i will definitely get associated with such things and uh, recently i am happy that i have been uh, you know approached for some beauty pageant where i am representing as a pageant director so yeah that's how i feel that things are coming up and i'm keeping my fingers crossed let's see what new assignments i get and whatever i get all i know is i'm going to give my best and make my mark thank you mrs purti dhingra coming art gapshap show it's a pleasure to know about how you struggle how you started your career and about and definitely it will be very good inspiration for coming generation it will be good knowledge for people so thanks a lot for coming in our show thank you so much for having me over here and uh, last message i would like to give to all the women that please do not think about age because for me and for everyone of you out there you should feel age is no bar age is just a number go for your dreams go for whatever you love doing in your life nothing can stop you if you believe in yourself so i think go get it and life is waiting for you thank you so much well. 